my name. DeAndre. 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 The one and only. I, when they see me, they know that every day when I'm breathing, it's for us to go farther. You know, every time I speak, I want the truth to come out. It hasn't even been a full month yet, and already the Karens are out here making a fuss and making everybody else's life completely miserable. And, you know, they just had to be heard. They have to be heard. So far, it is working. What am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about the fact that it's been almost two, three weeks since the Super Bowl. Many of you know I am a Philadelphia Eagles fan, born and raised. We lost in the Super Bowl. It is what it is. Don't really care to talk about it too much. But during the halftime show of that Super Bowl, uh, Rihanna was the, you know, the headliner, right? Nobody else performed. It was just Rihanna. And I want to say over the past few days, there have been some rumblings and complaints in regards to Rihanna's halftime show performance. And I have an article pulled up here from the New York Post. And there was plenty of other articles, you know, around the Internet talking about it. But, you know, apparently there have been a lot of people who have, you know, who were upset and were complaining about Rihanna's halftime performance, calling it, you know, too sexy and basically comparing it to porn. So here's the article right here. So it says here TMZ got a hold of 103 complaints from angry viewers who moaned about the Lift Me Up singer's February 12th show. This year the halftime show was so indecent I had to turn off the TV because of the pornographic content someone in Utah said. Uh, a California native chimed in said I don't care what someone worships but children shouldn't be exposed to pornography as an adult. I don't wish to see it. Where has decency gone? How about respect for others and self? Fans were upset over the overtly sexual dancing that transpired on the Super Bowl stage. There you have it, right? I mean, that's only a, a small percentage of the complaints that were thrown out there in regards to Rihanna's halftime show performance. Um, listen, I watched the whole thing. I didn't really have an issue with it. I didn't really have a problem with it. To be honest, it doesn't really surprise me that there are people out here that are, you know, complaining about her you know, performance and what she did. Um, you know, I honestly didn't think that because I you have to understand, right? The, the Super Bowl, the NFL, you know, when it comes to these halftime performances, they really try their best. I, I, I would honestly say they go above and beyond to try to pick the most even keel, like, you know, they don't make waves. Like they, they try to pick the most safest option to perform the halftime show, right? Like it, it's gotta be like a sure shot. And honestly, I thought that Rihanna was fine. Most of the time they're gonna pick like a pop artist or, you know, an artist that, you know, it just has mass appeal, right? Like that has this a, a crazy audience, like the Beyonce's and, you know, the Shakira's and, you know, all of these different people um, back in the day when they had Michael Jackson do it and Prince do it and Justin Timberlake and, you know, some of these people who just, you know, have the appeal, right? Who have the audience to, you know, really bring in the ratings for the NFL. So it, you know, and Rihanna definitely has that. Don't get me wrong. Like she's a freaking billionaire. Like she has the audience to bring in to, you know, to watch the show, but she is kind of edgy for the NFL. So I was actually kind of surprised that they did it. Now, like I said, this doesn't really surprise me, but here's what some other people said. One grievance described her performance crew as being patently offensive and completely inappropriate for children. Someone else said, apparently I'm the only person on Twitter who thinks Rihanna's halftime show was terrible. Why is she touching her crotch? in a show kids are watching and why are her backup dancers dressed like hazmat covid freaks that do these gross brain swab tests it's just obviously you know you know a big deal now granted you know they said that it was over a hundred you know complaints right so there were how many people that watched it there were what over 112 million viewers these complaints that were uh gotten by tmz was only a slightly over a hundred complaints, right? So I mean, a hundred compared to a hundred and twelve hundred and thirteen million viewers, that's really nothing. But you know, obviously there were some 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 complaints, right? There obviously were enough to make it 
at least this big of a deal for everyone to be talking about it. Um, now, you know, obviously a lot of people's frustration stems over, you know, really one part of the performance where, you know, apparently she was dancing and she put her hand on her crotch and then she put it up to her face and, you know, as if she was smelling her coochie, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, I did see it, but I mean, it wasn't like it was the focal point of the show. You weren't really going to, if you weren't really paying attention, you probably would have missed it. But people caught, people caught it, and this is the result. Um, I didn't really think it was that big of a deal. I didn't really compare it to porn, but to each his own. Now, I'm not going to obviously play the video because obviously it's the NFL, and the copyright situation with the NFL is ridiculous. And I'm not even going to try to test it. But, uh, you know, if you can go on YouTube and literally look at the halftime show performance, if you haven't already seen it, then you'll be able to tell. Just look at, you know, it's probably what, like a three or four minute, well, sorry, 13, 14 minute video, and you'll be able to see it. Now, again, as I noted that 100 complaints compared to 100 and, you know, 12 million people watching is nothing. And to be honest, this type of complaining is very laughable uh, as compared to the uh, Janet Jackson and Justin Timberlake fiasco that happened back in 04, which I still remember. That was completely crazy. And that was something that honestly impacted both of their careers because that halftime show performance at the Super Bowl back then had close to about 550,000 complaints at the time, okay? And that was, I mean, that had the world talking like, <laughs> you know, I mean, that was just, that was crazy. You know, I, I remember that. So this halftime show that Rihanna did was nothing compared to what happened. And, and that was a complete accident, okay? That was an accident that had... That should have never happened. And, you know, it honestly impacted Janet Jackson and Justin Timberlake's career, you know, very, 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 very much. That That's pretty much all I wanted to say, man. You know, people are just making a very big deal out of this. This is really nothing. You know, now, besides that, talking about the overall halftime show that she put on, you know, I personally didn't have an issue with it. Um, she performed pretty much a lot of the songs that I thought she was going to perform. Um, I honestly thought that she was going to have more people out there than she did, but you know, she didn't, it was just her and that's fine. You know, you're allowed to perform a show that you're headlining just by yourself. You know, that's fine. But you know, a lot of people, you know, didn't really like it. You know, I know some people personally that really, you know, thought that the show was okay. Could have been a lot better. They thought that, you know, she was going to do a lot more. But then they found out that obviously she was pregnant and she couldn't really do too much. So they kind of gave her a pass. If you kind of look on, you know, YouTube, look at the reviews, you'll see that a lot of people weren't too, you know, weren't too happy about it. But then there's always everyone's a critic, right? Everyone's a critic. Everyone has, you know, good opinions, bad opinions. And it's really the people that want to, you know, seem different from the crowd. So they always want to give like a really bad review, like the second something comes out or the second they see something just to be a contrarian. So there's always going to be those people that have those opinions. But me personally, I didn't have a problem with it. So that's really all I wanted to say. That's pretty much it. Let me know what y'all about this down below in the comments, man. All right. But other than that, stay lit. Believe in God. Believe in yourself. Everything else will work out for itself, man. Peace.